You can get this product and so much more at www.safariltd.com. And don't forget to use the coupon code SPINODUDE, that's S-P-I-N-O-D-U-D-E, to get 20% off your next order. All links are down below in the description. Hey guys, Spina Dude here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Safari LTD 2015 Archaeopteryx. Alrighty guys, so welcome back to another review finally and welcome to my new setup for my reviews, my new recording area. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to be tweaking some things with the lighting I'm sure in future recordings, but this is the first review in the new setup with new microphone and everything, so I hope you guys enjoy the new quality. Anyway, today we're taking a look at the Safari LTD Archaeopteryx here, which is one figure that I've been putting off getting for quite a while, and I don't know why. This figure is borderline one of my favorite Safari LTD figures ever made at this point. I'm just so delighted by this little thing. The paint, the detail, everything about it just comes together and makes an absolutely spectacular figure of the first bird, Archaeopteryx. And one thing I want to address very quickly is the coloration. And we're actually going to do a size comparison early on in the video here of size, or just a overall figure comparison to the Safari LTD Micro Raptor here from 2017. Now I absolutely love this Micro Raptor. I think it's a great figure, has wonderful details once again, but where it absolutely does not shine at all in comparison to this Archaeopteryx is uh, in paint application and overall just choice of coloration. Now we do have a very good idea of how these two animals were colored IRL due to studying the fossilized melanosomes between Microraptor and Archaeopteryx and we've come to the conclusion that both of them were mostly black with hints of iridescence in their feathers. Now the one problem with this Microraptor is that it of course is black, I guess the gist of the coloration, but it's missing the iridescence. It's just really a, a wasted opportunity in my opinion. For a lovely figure that's overall larger than this Archaeopteryx, and you can just see the Archaeopteryx completely outdoes it in just overall paint application and everything. Now the Archaeopteryx has a little bit more going into it color-wise. The colors remind me more of a magpie with the white wings here, etc. But definitely 100% the Archaeopteryx wins in the paint category. I mean, just look at that iridescent blue paint just catching the light there. If you guys can see that on the camera, that's absolutely wonderful. But anyway, the details are also absolutely beautiful on this figure. The feathering is gorgeous. And going back to the paint very quickly once again, this figure is very neatly painted. Like, there is... Not really any sloppiness going on here whatsoever. There's a little bit of bleeding here and there between the, the primary feathers with the white color. Here and there, just you can tell they were done with an airbrush and there's a bit of bleeding with the, the white on the edges here and there. But overall, just the paint on this figure is very, very intricately and neatly applied. And especially on the wings here, I assume they used a stencil or something to get those so precise. And that white carries on to the underside of the wings there as well. I also love the choice of color for the hands, the face, and the feet on this Archaeopteryx figure. You can see that they are done in a burnt orange color. I just think they contrast really nicely against the the black and the iridescent blues on this figure here. Now one thing that kind of jarred me on this figure were the two dromaeosaur like sickle claws that are pointing up on the feet there and I always thought that was very strange when I first saw this figure but it actually turns out that those claws are accurate Archaeopteryx did have those claws and also one thing I totally forgot to mention about the paint I don't know if it will show up on camera but there is a little bit of iridescent like violet purple on the head as well I'm not sure if the light is catching it at all, or if you guys can see that, but it is there on mine, and it looks wonderful against the iridescent blue and the rest of the coloration. Anyway, the feathering detail on the underside of the figure is quite nice. It's quite shaggy, I guess, for lack of a better word. But then you get into the wings, and those are just very beautifully, beautifully done. And I absolutely love the way the feathers are overlapping each other on the wings there. It makes them feel dense and fluffy, just the way I like all of my feathered prehistoric creatures. And yes, and one thing we have to take a look at quickly is the head on this figure. And the head is beautifully done, as you can see there. Really nice shaping overall. The eyes are gorgeous with that yellow color, and they are very intricately painted, look extremely lifelike. And once again, that burnt orange color on the face there 
is wonderful. I love it. And then one thing I also forgot to mention is the, the tail. Shaping is great. I was actually comparing it to some fossils of Archaeopteryx that we have, and it definitely matches up well with those because we do have feather impressions of the animal, of course. And just, ooh, I know I keep saying it, but that iridescent, shiny blue color on the back and going down the tail, it's so good. And against the black with that really contrasting white on the wings, it's so naturalistic, but just so beautiful at the same time. I love it. But anyway, in case you are wondering how large this figure is, this Archaeopteryx's wingspan is about 4 inches wide, which is about 12 centimeters. In terms of this figure's overall length, we are looking at about 4 and a quarter inches, which is about 10 centimeters. And in terms of the height of this figure, we are looking at about two and a half inches, which is about six and a half centimeters. And for our consistent size comparison with all of Safari LTD's figures, here is Bernie the Gator. Oh, and one thing that I forgot to mention on this Archaeopteryx is the posture. I know that the posture is a pretty common gripe with this figure, and I wasn't the biggest fan of it either, seeing promo images and other images of the figure, but I can say with full confidence in hand, it's really not that awkward or stiff looking. It just looks like an Archaeopteryx that's just a little shocked of something that it's seen in front of it on the ground. Whoops, tipped you over there, buddy. It's very stable. It's in the tripod pose, but it's not a super obvious tripod pose, and it really shows off the wonderful wing detail as well. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this review of the Safari LTD 2015 Archaeopteryx. Let me know what you think of this one. I highly recommend it. Make sure to use coupon code SPINADUDE on safariltd.com if you want to save 20% on an order with this figure. Leave a like if you liked, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So take care, and bye bye